is the internet. Dave and Angie here, minus our coffee cups for I coffee know. break today. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's <laughs> just let's just launch straight into there it. There we go. All right, some news to tell you about first. And again, coffee break is a segment where you can uh, basically learn about the video news on News OK today, including this story. An Oklahoma City pharmacist has been charged with first degree murder in the fatal shooting of a would-be robber. It happened back on May 19th. Two young men allegedly threatened Jerome Ersland two other employees. Our crew was there Wednesday. Yesterday, as Oklahoma District Attorney David Prater announced the charges. In the present prosecution, though Jerome Erzlid was justified to shoot Antoine Parker in the head during the robbery attempt, Mr. Erzlid is accused of exceeding that lawful authority to employ deadly force when Erzlid shot Parker five times in the abdomen with a 380 caliber pistol, pistol after the failed robbery. Uh, there were three employees, two, and a woman that is, has some disability and a young mother. Uh, Mr. Ursuline did what he thought was necessary to protect their lives and his life. Uh, there's going to be some that say did he go too far and uh, that's why the district attorney I think has filed the charge thinking he went too far. But again the question is when do you turn off that adrenaline switch? When do you think you're safe? I think that's going to be the ultimate issue. All right, you can learn more about this case in today's Oklahoma and online at newsok.com and there's a special page set up for continuing coverage of this story. That's now we've also been following the case against Kiowa businessman Steve Fitz. Fitz pled guilty to federal conspiracy charges and was sentenced to a year in federal prison. Several people including Reba McIntyre and federal prosecutors had asked for leniency on Fitz's behalf. We were disappointed that Mr. Fitz did not get a sentence of probation especially in light of the uh, historic cooperation what the government called extraordinary cooperation that Mr. Phipps gave in the political corruption investigation. What's happening? The hot stuff? That's hot. Gee, I know you're looking forward to this. Football, just a few months away. <laughs> yeah, you know I like college football though. Okay, well it's just a few months away. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, we have video that may tide you over to that first kickoff. The Oklahoma's Jenny Carlson spoke with OU running back DeMarco Murray about his injuries and the expectations for the upcoming football season. I know expectations get right back to where we were, you know, and actually, you know, get a victory out of it. You know, we had put a lot of points up last year. You know, they, you know, we raised the bars high for ourselves last year, so, you know, we're going to continue to work hard, you know, and just make things happen. And what goes better with a little football than some barbecue? Yeah, some BBQ. That's right. I love barbecue. Food editor Dave Cathy, I guess, does too. He traveled to Iron Star Barbecue to sample their barbecue sandwich in this month's feature, Sandwich of the Month. Cool beans. Now, speaking of food, Kyle Roberts and I will be cooking up something new with Cheryl Jones this afternoon. And with Cheryl, it is always good food. Today, we will be working with fennel, and you can get those recipes next week. I'm going to have to watch that. I do not know what fennel is. I know. It's going to be exciting and new. And, and tasty, probably. <laughs> yes. Well, Angie, you will also be out at the Greens Country Club today to talk about Serve for the Cure. So yeah, a good... it's, it's, it's a very neat uh, tournament. Breast cancer survivors uh, participate in the uh, tennis tournament, and obviously they're raising money for a good cause for breast cancer. So it's very um, inspiring and some good stories. All right, I'm going to go track down those coffee mugs. Yeah. In the meantime, be sure to check out the video and news and information on newsok.com. See ya.